subtracting two-digit numbers, number 6.7. We have learned about regrouping to subtract in the previous six videos. We now know that we can regroup a 10 from the tens place as 10 ones, and then add it to the ones place. Then we can subtract. If we have 51 minus 27, 51 is our minuend, 27 is our subtrahend, we see that this 7 is larger than the 1. So we take a 10 away from the 5, it becomes a 4, the 1 becomes an 11, and now we can take 7 from 11. 11 minus 7 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. If you haven't seen the previous six videos, you can click this description and there'll be links to them, all right? So let's try practicing this. We've got 53 minus 15. First thing we do is look at this subtrahend ones place, and this 5 is greater than the 3, so we know we need to regroup. This 5 is going to become a 4. The 3 will then become a 13, because we gave the 10 to the ones place. 13 minus 5 is, we can count up, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's an 8. 4 minus 1 is 3. We get 38. Let's try it again. We have 75 minus 48. This 8 is larger than the 5, so we need to regroup. We take 1 away from the 7, it becomes a 6. We give the 10 to the 1's place, so that becomes a 15 instead of a 5. 15 minus 8 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's 7. And 6 minus 4 is 2. We get a 27. Do it again. We have 46 minus 24. We look at the 1's place in the subtrahend. It's a 4. We compare it to the ones place of the minuend. That's a six, that's larger. So we don't need to regroup. This one's smaller. Six minus four is two. And four minus two is two. We get a 22 and we didn't need to regroup because that four was smaller than the six. Let's try it again. We have 60 minus 32. We look at the ones place. This two is larger than the zero. So we need to regroup from the 6, it becomes a 5. We give it to the 1's place. Instead of 0, we now have a 10. That's the 10 we regrouped and took from this side. 10 minus 2 is 8, and 5 minus 3 is 2. We get a 28. Let's try it again. We have 84 minus 9. We look at the 9 and see that it's larger than the 4, so we need to regroup. This becomes a 7. We give that 10 to the 1's place, so instead of 4, we now have 14. 14 minus 9 is 5, and we bring the 7 down. We get 75. Let's try it one more time. We look at the 1's place. We see we have a 5 and there's a 7 in the minuend. Well, the 5 is smaller, so we don't need to regroup. 7 minus 5 is a 2, and 5 minus 2 is a 3. We get a 32, and we didn't need to regroup because the 5 was smaller. All right? If you remember, we did subtraction of tens. We have 90 minus 50. This is 9 tens minus 5 tens. We think 9 minus 5. Well, that's a 4. So 90 tens, 9 tens minus 5 tens would be 4 tens. It would be 40. See? Let's try it again. We have a 56 minus 10. We're not taking away any 1s. We're just taking away 1 10. If we take 1 away from the tens place, that would be a 4, wouldn't it? But we'd still have these 6 1s. If we had 56 and we took away 10, 6 take away 0 is still 6, 5 take away 1 is 4, see? We have 46. If we have 60 take away 6, we look at this 6 and it's larger than the 0, so we need to regroup. This 6 becomes a 5. 
in the tens place, we give it to the ones place. So now instead of zero ones, we have ten ones. Ten minus six is four, and we bring the five down, because there's nothing to subtract here. See? Let's try some problem solving. Thirty-two trucks were in a parking lot, and seventeen trucks drove away. How many trucks were left in the parking lot? So we need to think. We need to circle the important information, the important data, right? So what's important is there were 32. What's important is that 17 drove away, and they want to know how many are left. We need to find out how many trucks are still in the parking lot, how many are left in the parking lot. So left is a clue word for subtraction. So is the drove away. That told us that there were 17 that are now gone. We write a subtraction equation, 32 minus that 17, and whatever the difference is is going to tell us how many were still left in the parking lot. We look at the ones place. We see that there's a 7 in the ones place of the subtrahend, and there's a 2 in the ones place of the minuend. And that's smaller, so we need to regroup. The 3 becomes a 2. We give the 10 to the 1's place, and that becomes a 12. 12 minus 7, that's a 5. And 2 minus 1 is a 1. We have to remember to label our word problems 15 what? 15 trucks. Okay? So just look for your clue words, circle your important words, and make sure you label your answer, all right? Okay, we're going to continue on, and we're going to do a little more practicing of subtracting two-digit numbers and regrouping. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.